overcoming social anxiety requires uh, some understanding of the mechanism uh, in the uh, condition. And uh, we recognize that maladjusted coping modes are contributing to the perpetuation of this uh, irrational anxiety. Maladjusted coping modes. What maladjusted coping modes? Well, generally speaking, the maladjusted coping modes are compensatory. They are related to being um, in, overly invested in how people are perceiving you. In other words, people are being overvalued uh, with, with social anxiety and uh, becomes a preoccupation. So we must reduce our uh, irrational valuing of other people, even honorable and wonderful other people. Uh, we need also, of course, to address the self-esteem issue. And uh, this is a bit of a, uh, a sensitive matter because we have to retain our uh, investment in self-esteem. Uh, however, we must interrupt over-investment in self-esteem because uh, it is vicarious, it is other-directed, it is um, taking the focus off yourself and thinking about other folks and how they are perceiving you. That has to come down. So, uh, number one, uh, in recovering from social anxiety, we have to have a theory of social anxiety. And again, I'm going to present it to you briefly. Social anxiety is an other-directed condition. That means the focus is off yourself. Uh, obviously, this also suggests that you need to mind your own business in the recovery from the condition. Minding your own business. Minding your own business uh, in the way that I'm pointing at it is exactly that. It is a pointer. It means a great deal more than you would generally believe. We must bring the attention back to our own lives. Okay, now let's move on from that idea. Social anxiety is imagined. Uh, in other words, we uh, conceive ourselves, uh, the image of ourselves and the image of others, imaginally before we actually um, live it. Uh, so the, um, the recovery, the intervention, is in fact uh, imaginal. We must work intrapersonally rather than uh, interpersonally. Of course, interpersonal uh, interactions are uh, relevant. Uh, however, the focus, the work, lies within ourselves. We need to get in touch with ourselves. Now, if you have this uh, social anxiety and uh, if you're in an acute phase of it, uh, the mind is racing and uh, there are aspects of yourself you're not connecting with. So uh, we have to begin to uh, calm down. My, uh, I'm encouraging everyone to recognize that you need to be still and uh, work contemplatively in the recovery process. And uh, this of course gets you in touch with yourself what does that mean? It, uh, it getting in touch with what is happening in your mind. And uh, my own recovery occurred when I identified uh, my maladjusted coping mode of uh, being impressive and looking good. Uh, it was a, a great day in my life. Uh, why? I, I had uh, built up sufficient uh, skills to be able to um, interrupt it. I had self-monitoring skills, and uh, which was supported by meditative practices, and uh, I nailed it. And uh, my uh, social anxiety uh, dropped dramatically within, I would say, 
within days. And uh, certainly, uh, as the years have gone by, I've continued to cultivate uh, this uh, divine indifference, uh, this humility, uh, this minding my own business modality, and indeed uh, social anxiety uh, has remitted uh, considerably. Now, you, the idea of getting rid of social anxiety, getting rid of other directedness is not a good idea. We need all the cards. Uh, so. Uh, we do not get rid of anything, even a maladjusted coping mode. We simply divest from that coping mode. Okay, So we're talking about getting in touch with yourself, and uh, we're also speaking about maturing. Yes, um, why uh, do I organize it that way? Well, the maladjusted coping mode, for example, looking good and being impressive, which is other-directed, uh, tends to be a coping mode that uh, is initiated uh, when we are youngsters. Uh, and what happens is that we are, uh, it just continues to um, function in our adulthood. And uh, it is a, a child-like coping mode, you know, looking good, being impressive, um, something in a, uh, that we actually want to keep. Uh, however, uh, we must uh, make that divestment. And also we have to identify it. The identification of our maladjusted coping mode provides the uh, the ability to see it rather than see through it. Get that idea? In other words, uh, the maladjusted coping mode uh, becomes uh, is a modality. A modality is like a lens we look through, a lens in which we conceive our our self concept, um, our worldview. And, and the values uh, in, in the moment. And uh, so pulling back, getting some psychological distance on the maladjusted coping mode is, uh, is critical. And the process of really seeing it is in fact part of the liberation process. We actually uh, we see it. We don't try to get rid of it. There's not an avoid avoidance. We do not reject it uh, or expel it, and uh, we simply put it in its place. We give it a place, and, um, and that provides us the ability to accept it, to um, include it, and then we transcend it. We move along uh, with our lives. <clears throat> Moving along to minding our own business and beginning to follow our own um, personality, our own inclinations, much closer to the authentic condition that uh, we were always meant to abide in. So we've touched on a couple of theories. I just want to go over it. Number one, uh, social anxiety is other directed. We need to mind our own business to get better. It is imagined. So the interpersonal, I um interaction is not what is critical, but it is the intrapersonal, the imagined relationship with others that uh, needs to come into focus. And we begin to work on that. And I'm going to show you how to do that in just a moment. And um, <clears throat> no doubt about it, um, the maladjusted coping modes are very often are attempting to be impressive, look good, make up for the sense of being defective, and uh, we, we swing too far from it. Getting in touch with ourselves is part of the process of recovery. <clears throat> Generally speaking, my recommendations is that you learn contemplative skills. In other words, that you learn to meditate. What type of meditation? Zazen, which is Zen meditation. Insight meditation is another one uh, that comes from the uh, Hindu tradition, and uh, it's a very fine uh, type of meditation, insight med meditation called Vipassana. And also the self-inquiry uh, disciplines are uh, in 
very uh, usable uh, in this liberation process. Lastly, maturation. We actually mature uh, in, in the process, and the ma maturing is acceptance. We be begin to reduce judgment, we accept uh, life as it is, we accept the fact that we are emotionally wounded, and uh, we do not over-personalize it. So, let's take a moment out and uh, forgive our uh, uh, noisiness out here. Um, take a moment out, take a, uh, a relaxation, relax a moment. Feel your body. This is the process of getting in touch with yourself. Close your eyes. Imagine yourself sitting where you are. Then imagine the company of a honored or respected person that uh, may trigger some social anxiety. So you uh, see yourself, you imagine that other person, and you um, relate to that image. And in that imagined relationship, you're going to um, arrive at a divine dispassion, at a, at a divine indifference about the person. You're going to horizontalize your relationship with that person, accept the person, and let's do that now. You're going to have that person go right to your side, and uh, there you are in your imagination, the image of you and the image of the other person. The other person is now shoulder to shoulder with you, looking in the same direction. Now you fully withdraw your attention from that image, bringing your attention back to yourself, fully eliminating any other image in your mind, only with you, and we come out of the, uh, out of the practice. That's imaginal exposure. Uh, I, I know it's a briefing on imaginal exposure, but if you get the idea, uh, that's how to practice. I have practiced it myself, and it is highly functional. It is how to do it. We believe we're in a circumstance we're actually in and imagining uh, in our social anxiety situation. Uh, very good Spe having an opportunity to connect with you on this important matter. Tune in again. Thank you so much.